In this video, you will learn how to add table of content in Microsoft Word document. Currently, you can see here I have opened a Microsoft Word document and it has 10 pages. It contains multiple headings. So, you will learn how to add table of content in this document. Firstly, open your Word document and format your heading in such a way that Microsoft Word can easily recognize it. You can do that using style option. For example, I will scroll down. And this one is our first heading. I will select this one. It is the first level heading. So I will place my cursor on heading 1. Remember that don't click on this. Only place your cursor on it and right click. Here you will find the option of update heading 1 to match selection. Click here. So you don't want to format your heading according to your style. If you have already format your heading, it will format these headings according to your styles. Now here you can observe that arrow sign. It's indicate that you have successfully formatted this heading. Now I will scroll down and format other headings like this one. This one is the first level heading. I will again select this one and simply click on this heading one because we have already formatted it. Now scroll down. And this one is our third heading and it is also first level heading. So simply select this one and click heading 1. Now I will scroll down. Now this one is the subheading. Firstly I will format it. I will select this one. Place your cursor on heading 2. Don't select heading 2. Simply place your cursor on it and right click. And select update heading 2 to match selection. Now it will automatically format it according to your format. So you don't need to format this one. Now we have successfully created format for heading 2 or second level headings. Now this one is the third level heading. It is the subheading of this one. So I will again select this one. Place your cursor on heading 3 because it is a 3 level heading or subheading. And right click and simply select update heading 3 to match selection. Select this one. Now we have successfully created 3 styles. Now I will format remaining document according to this. I will scroll down. This one is the third level heading. I will select this one and simply click on heading 3. Scroll down. This one is the second level heading and I will select heading 2. Scroll down. Now this one is the first level heading. I will select this one and I will choose heading 1. This one is the second level heading or subheading of this section. I will select this one and I will click on heading 2. Now this is second level heading. I will select heading 2. And this one is the third level heading. I will select heading 3. This one is the third level heading. I will select heading 3. Scroll down. This one is the first level heading. I will select heading 1. And this one is the first level heading. I again select heading 1. Now we have successfully formatting heading according to Microsoft Word format. Now we can easily insert table of content. Before that, if you click on this arrow sign, this section will be collapsed. Again, click here. Now you can see here introduction section is collapsed. If I again click on this arrow, then this section will be expand. Again, click here. So by using this option, you can easily navigate to one section to another section. Another useful option is view. Go to view option. And here you will find the option of navigation pen. Select this one. 
and if you click on any headings you can go to that heading directly i will close this one now we will learn how to insert table of content firstly select the location where you want to insert table of content i will click here and move it downward i am interested to insert table of content here click here go to insert option and here you will find the option of blank page i want to insert a blank page to insert table of content you can directly insert table of content here so firstly i will click blank page now i have successfully inserted blank page remember you should insert page number on your document before inserting table of content if you are interested to insert page number go to insert option and here you will find the option of page number from here you can select top of page bottom of page i will select bottom of page and add center i will close this one now place your cursor where you want to insert table of content i want to insert table of content here i will click here after doing that go to references tab and at the corner you will find the option of table of contents select this one you will find multiple option you can select any option according to your desire for example in this case i will select automatic table 2 select this one now you can see here microsoft word has inserted table of content now here is a mistake because it has number table of content as one i will place my cursor here and delete first number now you can see here the numbering is not changed but i will click here on update table update entire table click on okay now you can see here numbering is updated now now you will learn how to update the page number as well as headings for example i will scroll down and currently you can see here abstract is on page number 3 i will move it downward now if i scroll down you can observe that abstract section is on page 4 and if i move to table of content you can see here abstract number is 3 microsoft word automatically update page number for example if i click here the option will be appeared here update table select this one if you are only interested to update page number you can select this option update page number only click on okay and you will observe that page number will be changed automatically click on okay now you can see here abstract number is changed 4 instead of 3 similarly if you make any change in heading you can automatically update table of content in microsoft word for example i will scroll down and currently this heading is abstract if i visit table of content section it's appeared abstract only now i will change this one i will scroll down and i will write abstract and background i will save this one now i will go to table of contents click here you will find two option go to update table currently you can see here heading is abstract i will select update entire table click on okay now you can see here heading is updated and it is abstract and background so you can make any changes in heading in document and it will automatically reflected in your table of contents now explore this option you can change the format of table according to your desire additionally if you go to table of content here you will find the option of custom table of contents 
you have multiple control according to your desire for example in this case you can see here it is the heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 you can show page number if you deselect it page number will be removed additionally write align page number you can use this option here is the option of tab ladder you can use this option either insert solid line or dotted lines and if you click on this option you will find other option as well click on okay again on okay replace this table of content i will click yes now you can see here we have inserted another format of table of content now if i made any change for example i will change this heading now if i go to this option table of content i will click here and remove first numbering to update remaining numbers go to update table update entire table and click on okay and it will update the entire table of content now if you are interested to remove table of content you can also do that simply select this table of content click here here you will find the option of remove table of content select this one and table of content will be removed so by following this video you can easily insert table of content in microsoft word document that's the end of this video thanks for watching this video goodbye